Hello, my name is Mike Jones. I'm the Medical Director for Training and Development at the Federation of Royal Colleges of Physicians. This video is about ARCPs. We are approaching the ARCP uh, timelines and it's very important that we ensure that you understand that the ARCP process is supposed to be supportive to enable you to have adequate time and experiences to head towards your CCT date. The ARCP is simply a review of what you've done in the last year and will be assessed according to the decision aids that have been produced by JRCPTB. However, it has become increasingly apparent that people are very concerned that they need to fulfill all of the SLEs that are indicated in the decision aid, even though they may have only spent six months in that specialty in the last year. The SLEs have to be proportionate to your experience gained. Therefore, if you're only doing six months in a particular specialty, you should only be expected to have the SLEs equivalent to six months, not the whole year outlined in the decision aid. Furthermore, trainees who have transitioned should be being assessed against the SIPs of the new curriculum. Obviously, many people were training under the old curricula, and yet the capabilities in practice do map across to the old curricula. And it should be possible for the trainee working with their educational supervisor to determine how far along they have come in their training process and therefore what level of attainment associated with the SIPs has been achieved. Please remember that the clinical SIPs do have separate levels. Level four is commensurate with the level expected at the time of CCT. So it is not to say that everybody needs to have achieved level four in all SIPs every year. That would make no sense. Training is a maturation and experiential process that really will help you progress to the level expected of a consultant capable of independent practice in the NHS by the time of your CCT. There have been some calculators produced by different specialties hoping to calculate how much internal medicine experience has been achieved for those working in group one specialties. However, these calculators are based purely on time and not on the capabilities achieved. Therefore, they may not be recognized at the time of ARCP and it should be a, a mechanism on which you do not rely because it will be very important that the reports that you get show that you have the capabilities, not the time served. You should be working with your educational supervisor, reviewing the portfolio and making sure all the elements in the portfolio are complete so that the ARCP panel can make a valid judgment about the experience obtained. Earlier in the year, you should have developed a plan of what was needed during the uh, programme. It is important that this is reviewed with your educational supervisor, reviewing the, all the experiences that you've had, but especially ensuring that there are multiple consultant reports going to be available, that there are adequate responses in your multi-source feedback, and that obviously by the time of the ARCP panel, the educational supervisor report has been produced. If you follow these guidelines, it is hoped that the supportive mechanism that the ARCP process is supposed to be will found, be found to be far less arduous than some people are finding it. I wish you good luck for your ARCP and hopefully you will recognise that there is progress being made within your training programmes and we will hopefully be able to welcome you to CCT date at the predicted time. Thank you for your attention.